You're tuning into Black and White Sports on YouTube. The no holds barred truth on sports. The main event starts now. I'm back. Rudrantz for our Black and White Sports. We're going to talk about Alvin Kamara. As we know, he is in deep, deep doo doo right now in Las Vegas from stemming from a horrible incident that happened on Saturday night. We have covered it extensively on this channel. I mean, him and three colleagues, I believe it was three colleagues, beat the holy mess out of another guy outside of a Las Vegas uh, casino hotel or, or in the elevator area. Um, evidently, the guy mouthed off that one of them, I think he supposedly called one of them ugly. And it end resulted with Kamara and his crew allegedly stomping the guy 23 times. Kamara is allegedly on video hitting the guy eight times. I posted a video last night. Uh, actually, a picture came out of the victim. And, I mean, he had the mess absolutely beat out of him. And uh, it was horrible. It was a brutal graphic picture. Uh, well... Now, as many of you know, and how this channel actually blew up and blew, and started, was the entire Bubba Wallace noose hoax incident. Okay, I made a video on it. It was the first video of its kind on this channel, and it got like 25,000 views. And it was on from there because sports lost its mind and went full SJW, social justice warrior, Black Lives Matter, Bubba Wallace, NASCAR, the whole nine, NBA, the floodgates opened up, right? Uh, so what I did not know was that while NASCAR was trying to be brave, stunning, and courageous, it seems that their NFL spokesperson, their NASCAR advisor, that's right, you guessed it, Alvin Kamara. It's Alvin Kamara. I mean, really? NASCAR advisor arrested Sunday night. Okay, we talked about that. I mean, this is absolutely crazy. Uh, this is what Alvin Kamara is. Over the past couple of seasons, Kamara has increased his level of involvement with NASCAR. He became a fan in 2020 when the drivers, namely Bubba Wallace, participated in racial justice activism, including the ban, the controversial ban, of the Confederate battle flag from racetracks. Wallace, a friend of Kamara from years back, went on to run a Black Lives Matter-themed car at Martinsville Speedway. Now famous car. We did a video on it. Good God, it got a ton of views. In February 2021, just prior to his appointment as the sports Official growth advisor. Growth and engagement advisor. Okay, this guy is actually associated with NASCAR and a title. Guys, this gets this takes on a further uh, connection to Sunday's of Sunday in the Pro Bowl. Kamara sponsored the number six JD Motorsports Chevrolet of Ryan Vargas in the X Xfinity Series race at Daytona International Speedway. That was back in February 2021. And it goes on to talk about the growth and engagement advisor role was a role created by NASCAR for Kamara. His appointment made him the first individual to hold the position. So he is like a NFL slash social justice spokesperson to try to make NASCAR more woke. He is the spokesperson for NASCAR. Now, follow me. I present the following from February 6, 1058 AM. Alvin Kamara's official Twitter. Another Pro Bowl. Thank you to my family at NASCAR for the gift. Make sure you all tune in for the race today at 6 p.m. Eastern. Hashtag Bush Light Clash. And they sent him over a helmet. This is a NASCAR helmet they sent over from NASCAR. From NASCAR. And on the day, now mind you, 
This guy lacks the self-awareness to understand he probably should not tweet this out. And this is a mere hours after, for lack of a better way of putting it, he just kicked the shit out of somebody. Which he is facing battery charges for. He took the pictures of this helmet, tweeted it out on his official account prior to going to the Pro Bowl. I mean, look, NFL let him play. Hell, the cops let him play in the Pro Bowl. And here he is, the social justice advisor to NASCAR, literally tweeting out, once again, pictures of NASCAR helmets sent by NASCAR a mere hours after him and his buddies beat the holy hell out of a guy. Wow. I mean, wow. You want to talk about the lack of self-awareness? And what does NASCAR say about this? Is he going to stay their growth and advisory role involving... I, I don't know exactly what kind of woke label this is that they tried to give... Uh, Alvin Kamara, but again, it said some kind of relation to Bubba Wallace. I mean, there you go. There you go. Um, I wonder if it, at no point his agent or him thought, should we let NASCAR know what happened? Or did he let NASCAR know what happened? And they were just like, oh, we're good. Go ahead and here's your helmet. Go ahead and tweet it out. We know you just kicked the shit out of somebody. But go ahead and go represent our sports organization on the day of what was supposed to be a historic race in L.A. Wow, NASCAR, you've really changed, haven't you? So much for law and order, I reckon. Tell me what you think, black and white sports fans. Peace, I'm out. Till next time. Thanks for watching the show. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Be sure to tune in next time on Black and White Sports.